Hey there guys and gals, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews. I know it's been a little while again since I've done a traditional video, um, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. And today, we're going to talk about a little bit of the drama unfolding here on YouTube. Well, and Twitter, it's kind of been a multifaceted little shit show that's been unleashing this week. And actually, most of the videos probably for this week are going to be about certain little pieces of things going down that are relevant right now on YouTube, and not just YouTube, but our culture as a whole. Yeah, that's that's how crazy this is. So, Pro Jared! Let's talk about Pro Jared. At this point, you probably at least have heard something about the Pro Jared fiasco. Now, personally, I've never been a big fan of Pro Jared, and, well, I've always kind of felt that he looked very startling, and recently I found out why, and someone posted a meme, and the meme was him side by side with that Momo thing, and they look really, really similar, and it's very frightening and terrifying to say the least. Momo isn't frightening on her own because it's just an imaginary thing, but then you realize that Pro Jared looks like Momo, and it becomes more terrifying. Now, that's obviously not what the drama is about Pro Jared. Pro Jared had tweeted out that he was getting a divorce from his wife. And that's, I understand a lot of people get divorced, but in the divorce letter, uh, in the post he made, he kind of tweeted out like, hey, don't believe the rumors you're gonna hear that come out during this, make your own observations. And it's never good when you're foreshadowing that, hey, there's some shit that's going to be said, because then you obviously already know you did something that wasn't good. That's already you kind of showing, hey, I'm aware I did this terrible thing, and you're possibly going to find out about it during this. Don't believe it. Now, the part to this is what did he do? Well, his wife, Holly, kind of called him out for cheating on Twitter, and then he wound up blocking his ex-wife, this is the... Er, is her name Heidi? Sorry, Heidi is the name of his wife. And uh, he wound up blocking his soon-to-be ex-wife, Heidi, on Twitter. Uh, not only did he cheat, though, apparently this, this one individual wasn't the only one he was cheating with, and this other person happened to be married to a friend of his. And then they got divorced, and now him and his wife are getting divorced, not to be together, just because both partners are finding out that their, you know, spouses are cheating, infidelity, ridden, lying sacks of scum. For those of you who aren't aware, I'm married and I do think cheating is like the worst thing you could ever do to your spouse. And a big part of that is, well, you know, a marriage is supposed to be built around friendship. So if you're not friends, a marriage isn't really going to work all that well to begin with. You have to be friends, you have to be partners. And well, you can't be someone's friend and go around and do something like that behind their back. That's literally the main thing you could do to say, hey, your friendship means shit to me. That's that's essentially what that is. Um, now, uh, unfortunately, with this whole situation, it gets even deeper than that. Um, apparently, Jared had had a Tumblr page dedicated to posting nudes of his followers. Essentially, his followers would post nudes of themselves on there, and it was supposed to be a body-positive thing. But apparently it went deeper than that and eventually turned into him soliciting nudes from other people. It even turned into him evolving it into a Snapchat that, well, he didn't tell his wife about until a subscriber had mentioned it to her. So a subscriber went to her. And this is the more insane part, is how much YouTube drama went down this week. Just how many YouTubers are getting exposed for terrible things and... The crazy part is you have a large audience. You have a lot of people. If you don't think at some point one of these people is going to say something that's going to out you or at least lead to you getting outed, you have to be stupid. Like, I mean stupid. And, well, as I said, I was never really a big fan of Pro Jared's content as it was. Uh, Pro Jared has lost almost 200,000 subscribers at this point, which is quite a bit of his audience, actually. We're, we're coming into, like, probably about half, I guess, would be where you would say his content, is, uh, his subscriber base is lost. Now, uh, again, it does get worse with Pro Jared, because of, of course it does. Apparently, one of the girls who came forward 
saying that she was solicited by Jared, was also 16 at the time, and even has the messages of Jared saying he doesn't care that she's underage. Not only that, but Jared also sent return nudes. I don't know if you've seen this, dude, but I, I, there's literally nothing less I want to see in my life than Jared naked. Ever. And I'll, I'll tell you this, I did not personally, apparently they leaked. You can go find pro Jared's nudes on the internet. Apparently they leaked. Uh, I, I did not go looking for them. I have not seen them. I have had certain individuals describe to me that I watch on YouTube what it was like witnessing it, and I'm good. Thanks. No need. Don't really want to see a dude naked to begin with, but really don't want to see pro Jared naked. Weird how that works. Uh, yeah, don't get it. Really don't understand. How, how is this dude doing what he's doing? How is, how did he find one woman who was willing to marry him, let alone another one that was willing to cheat with him. Like, this, this dude is, and there's no redeeming personality. If you watch his videos, he is like a cringy individual. He is that person that once you see how he interacts with people, you're just like, cool, I wouldn't let you alone in a room with my kids. And that's the vibe that I get from this dude. And awkwardly enough, it, I was pretty spot on on that vibe. Wow, way to go, pro Jared. Um, but the whole thing is just unfolding, and it's this awful, toxic mess. And it's funny, because like, this James Charles stuff came out, and everyone's saying that this is overshadowing the pro Jared thing. I don't know, sending nude pictures to a minor, despite what James Charles has currently done, seems much, much worse to me. Much worse. That's one that's come forward, and you know it's probably more than the one. Let's let's just be quite frank here. Not like and frank, but quite frank. It's it's probably more than just the one individual that he has solicited this from. And it's it's really sad to see this, and it's even more sad to see that people put their faith in people that have any kind of a following. They they put them on a pedestal. And let let's be frank here uh, again more frankness. Uh, I, I'm very honest about what I do and mistakes that I make, and none of my mistakes gravitate to that kind of a level. Um, that's, that's bad. Um, I, I get it. Politicians, normal person, that they're going to have flaws. Everyone's going to have flaws. People in Hollywood, terrible scumbags because they have the money and the power to be terrible scumbags. And kind of politicians fall into that same category. And a lot of that kind of was shown in the James Charles argument. And not as much of it has been shown really in the pro-Jared part of it because, well, he's kind of kept his mouth shut, which is probably for the best for him because, well, a lot of people take cheating as a pretty bad thing. That is a pretty quick way to ruin and destroy your own career. People do not take kindly to that. You are literally saying that someone you have dedicated and committed to spending the rest of your life with wasn't worth your own commitment. You are making a very bold statement by that. And it's just really sad to see. I mean, <laughs> you got to feel kind of bad for his wife. I mean, she's She's talked a lot about, well, his ex-wife, I guess, now they filed for divorce. I don't know when it's appropriate to say ex-wife, if it has to wait until after the papers and everything are served. But it, it is sad to see this all unfold. And she even went into talking about how manipulative he was. Apparently, that's kind of like his thing. Um, and even a lot of the people that are outing him is, hey, he solicited me for nudes. Like, oh, come on, just that kind of stuff have talked about how manipulative he is as an individual. And uh, don't get me wrong, I get it. There's always a certain sense of coaxing other people when you're doing something. Um, obviously, you know, when you're dating, it's even, hey, I'm kind of trying to get you to like me, but there's a difference between manipulation and selling. Your, I, I don't really know how to word that, because selling yourself makes it sound bad again, too. Um, but there's always the, hey, this is who I am. Uh, and getting to know someone. And, well, unfortunately, when you're getting to know a manipulator, all it is is manipulation into here's what I want you to think and see of me and that kind of stuff. So, guys, let me know what you think about this whole little situation down in the comments down below. As you know, I like to interact on this kind of stuff. Um, and I'm curious to what your guys' opinions are. 
Uh, if you want to follow me anywhere else, the links are as always in the description box down below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Those thumbs up help other people see my content and it helps me grow the community and hopefully stops a lot of the terrible things going on here on YouTube for me. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button. You can ding the bell if you really want to show off to your girlfriend, show her your manly muscles. Look at that. I was strong enough to ring the bell. Guys, I will see you all soon. I'll have plenty more content coming for you, so stick around.